What is going on, everybody? Happy Friday, and welcome back to another installment of Mr. Eric Reads. Um, I've got a silly grin on my face, and it's for a good reason. You know, I don't know if you guys remember, but a while back we read some books by Don McMillan, and it had to do with, you know, oh, I need a new butt, or I broke my butt. And I thought those were the only two books that she wrote regarding the need for a new butt or a broken butt. But I was wrong. That's right, my friends. You young readers and future leaders get to hear another story from Don McMillan. And this time, my butt is so noisy. That's right. So, without further ado, please sit back, relax, and enjoy this story right here on Mr. Eric Reads. My butt is so noisy. My butt brings me shame. It makes weird noises, and I get the blame. Hooting and tooting, clicking and ticking, humming and strumming, clanging and banging. I skip and I strut as extraordinary sounds just escape from my butt. My butt behaves in the most mischievous way. Such bad manners when folks come to stay. They hear a phone ringing and the sweet sounds of singing, then whistling and chirping and burping and slurping. And... Popping and squeaking when my auntie is speaking. Then a crash and a boom when my uncle leaves the room. My cousins, though, four of them boys, all want a butt that makes lots of noise. And while they try hard, it seems very strange that each of their butts has a limited range. Not a horn-blowing boat or a musical note, no snorting, no snoring. My cousins are boring. But my butt makes sounds beyond belief. And my cousin's failures is my aunt's relief. Poor mom and dad, what can they say about having a son who behaves in this way? They breathe and they sigh and they hold their heads high and amid all the stares and the fuss and the tiz, they say, well, he's our boy and he's fine as he is. But I need a new butt. A butt that's quiet. A butt that is good and won't cause a riot. A butt that doesn't go honk when I'm in the park. And a butt that won't scare the dogs with a bark. A butt with no sirens and a butt with no squeals and, and a butt with... No sound of fast screeching wheels. No slapping, no clapping, no rapping, no zapping, no blipping, no banging, no clinking, no clanging. <sighs> well, hmm. But wait. Somebody is coming. Someone is running. And then I hear, so loud and so clear, Hey, we found him! He's perfect! He's just what we need! We'll sign him at once, when all is agreed. And now, my butt's in the movies, and I am so proud. My butt makes the noises, both gentle and loud. Just the right noises to go with the story.
like big, booming explosions to go with the glory. All my hooting and hollering has quite a following. I do splishes and splashes, collisions and crashes, each cough and each, each sneeze, all the wind in the trees and the sound of tornadoes and the swarming of bees. All the waves rolling in, all the thunder and din. Yes, my butt is the greatest. And here is the latest. My butt is famous. I'm known worldwide. I have the loudest, the proudest, the most uproarious, victorious. Sound system backside. <laughs> the end. That's right. For a Friday filled with hopefully some good laughs and chuckles and uh, some relaxation moving in to the weekend, it is our silly story, My Butt is So Noisy, by Don McMillan, right here on Mr. Eric Reads. Look, I, I just stumbled upon it. I was as surprised as you were that there was a third installment, but I hope you enjoyed it just like I hope you enjoyed the first two books by Don McMillan and every book subsequently that we've read since then. Um, again, guys, please continue to stay safe and healthy, wash your hands, and practice kindness in everything that you do. As you gear up for a weekend, relax. Get ready for school on Monday. Um, be safe. I already said that. You know how it is. But, you know, same old, same old. Just, just do those things. Um, but I hope, like I said, I hope you enjoyed a silly tale on a Friday. Hopefully it leads you into the weekend uh, on a happy note. Come back tomorrow because I'll have another story right here on Mr. Eric Reads.